Want to learn exactly how to go ahead and play Roblox inside of a Chromebook? As you can see, this is a Chromebook right here. And there we go. Roblox is finally loaded up, as you can see. So we could click play right here, as you can see. And we're going to go ahead and begin with the tutorial right now. So watch till the end of the video. In today's video, we have three objections. I'm going to show you exactly how to install and run Roblox inside of your Chromebook. Then I'm going to show you how to play Roblox without lag and the third thing is a giveaway and i'll explain you that later on in the video so keep watching okay starting with step number one of the video as you can see this is the chromebook right here that i'm going to be using so simply get your chromebook right now as i have it and now simply go ahead and turn it on okay so go ahead and click here and turn this thing on which is going to take a few seconds to load and there we go once you've loaded in we could carry on with step number or no step number one we're beginning right now since the chromebook has loaded up turn on your chromebook there's only a few steps left from here so don't worry you're almost complete with this entire tutorial it's a very simple tutorial i just want to note that later after we go ahead and install it i'm going to show you how to make it not lag and the reason that's important and very important to take these steps you'll figure out later on in the video it all makes sense but first keep watching and complete the tutorial so i'm going to show you how to install it right now installing it is very very simple first you want to go ahead and locate chrome right over here on your chromebook and now simply go ahead and click on chrome or whatever browser you want to use okay now simply type up roblox.com and go to roblox's website as you can see right here and from here the steps are going to be even more simple and once you get to roblox's website i'm going to show ahead and explain you what we're going to do next here to go ahead and get it and install it is very very simple and it's all going to come full circle and you're going to understand how simple it actually was. You're probably gonna be like, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you the next few steps right now. Now, before we carry on with this tutorial, I just wanted to note that I always do some Bobux uh, gift card giveaways in my videos, guys. If you want one, just please, it helps a lot. Like, subscribe, turn notifications to option, comment your roblox username and yeah and i also like to put the code like some codes in my videos like random points of, of the video and like tiny letters and it pops throughout the screen so go ahead and try to find it somewhere throughout this video anyways let's get back to the episode now once you're here it's very simple all you want to do guys is simple you want to scroll down all the way and by the way guys i love you so much i really do thanks so much for your support but as you can see right here <laughs> get on google play you just want to click on get it on google play right here so click on that right now there we go and now i'm going to show you the next few steps so yeah let's go ahead and now click on install right here and then i'm going to show you how to get it without lagging because it's going to start lagging so i'm going to show you how to fix that lag issue and once you've done that you're basically set so let's go ahead and wait for this thing to load now that that thing has loaded up as you can see what we want to do is now click on play there we go and now all we're gonna do is wait for this thing to load let's wait for roblox to load real quick and yeah so it's gonna load and now we're gonna sign up and we could fix the lag now if you ask me how it's gonna run i'm just gonna say keep watching and find out exactly how roblox runs on chromebook it could run good it could run bad and we're gonna test the performance for you guys loads i just wanted to say one thing it's only 10 seconds i don't care if you don't want to hear this message i just want to say it but thank you so 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 much guys for the support nothing in this life is impossible honestly guys like like when i started this channel i never knew i would get this much support we just hit 30,000 loyal subscribers thank you so much i know you guys really love the content the app should look like this right here and then it's gonna say login or sign up so yeah let's go ahead and complete it also how are you guys liking like the new studio set i mean so now we're going to go ahead and test how Roblox runs on Chromebook and we're going to see if it's worth you doing it or not and we're going to see how good the graphics are. We're going to inspect every single element of it and test it out. So let's run it for a test run. I just created an account. Let's go. So as we can see right here, uh, this is um, Roblox Brookhaven. So now all we want to do, guys, is click on play. 
So yeah, so let's click on play and see how it runs and I'm going to show you how to make it not lag and run smoothly later on in the video but as you can see, this is Roblox Brookhaven, why is it not moving? Okay, that's an issue. There we go, okay, it's moving now. And yeah, it's running actually pretty smooth. Let's try to spawn a car and go fast and we could see how the frames work when we spawn a car. So let's go ahead and pick a car right now. What, what's your favorite car, guys, in Brookhaven? Comment down below. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get like a, let's get this mini car right here. All right, so now let's quickly go inside. Okay. Now let's just drive it around the city. By the way, if you don't know, these are the keys to move inside of desktop. You move like a desktop on Chrome. And it's actually moving pretty fast. It's moving pretty fast right here. The frames are actually pretty decent. You know, we go to the hospital right here, right? The frames are very, very decent on here. And yeah, so let's try and walk inside the hospital. Right here. Yeah, it's, it's actually, um, the gameplay is actually running pretty smoothly. I don't have any complaints about I'm gonna show you exactly how to make the performance not lag and how you can play without it not lagging so if you want to see that make sure you keep watching till the end of the video because that's what you're gonna see right now before we show you that i want to show you a few other cool features about the chromebook first click on e s c e s m c and then go and capture and actually capture the roblox screen recording which is kind of cool so go and capture Turn it on and you can now capture videos inside of Roblox. So you can do gameplay videos or Roblox vlogs or whatever you want to do on Roblox. Honestly, it's limitless. There's millions of games you could go ahead and play and people love gameplay videos. They love gameplay videos. Gaming is like the biggest thing ever. So you could make videos on this for sure. And the second thing is you could go on settings right here. And now to make the quality better, simply put the graphics all the way to the lowest bar possible or onto automatic and it will automatically set whatever graphics is the best for your chromebook and this is already at the lowest point and essentially because it's already at the lowest it's going to run the smoothest and that's how you actually go ahead and fix it and also there's other uh, features like a reduced motion but you know you want to keep these off so it doesn't lag too much and yeah once you have all these you know great features the thing is is going to run pretty smoothly as you can see and it, it's not as smooth as it looks to me because you guys are watching for a camera not the screen recording but it's very smooth in real life and it works very well some people use these arrow keys but these this moves it like this this is the keys you really want to be using these three right here and yeah you can play with one hand and you can use this to move with the other hand so yeah final thoughts on this entire video and this tutorial i want to say two things first of all i want to appreciate and thank google and chrome and honestly it's such a great company because you get to go on the play store and play tens of thousands of games in your chromebook so i think that's very cool i don't know if that not tens of thousands millions maybe even games right so that's awesome this is why I love the Chromebook, because this is a unique to the Chromebook. On Windows, you can't access the Google Play Store. On 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 uh, Mac, you can't access the Google Play Store, right? But on Google Chrome, you can access the Google Play Store and play thousands, millions of games. That's number one, right? This is awesome about that. Number two, the final thoughts are this, okay? My final thoughts are very simple on this entire thing, right? I don't know exactly how much games you can play on it, by the way, but it's a lot, right? My final thoughts are this. It runs pretty smoothly, and if you don't like Roblox, you just play another game. So do I recommend people buying a Chromebook in 2023 or 2024, 2025 or forever? Yes, I recommend it. It's an amazing piece of technology that you get to play on whatever game you want. Honestly, it's very good. Like, I know it sounds like on the radar, yeah, you can just play it on your phone, but you can't. It's not as great as playing it on Android than playing it on Chrome. So I'm so, so, so grateful for you watching this video. If you could like and subscribe, it would mean the world to me, you know. My dream is to become, a, you know, just become the guy that's giving the best value, best quality tutorials on YouTube. And you guys are making it possible. You guys really love me. I love you guys so much. You guys are the best community on YouTube. I always say it. And I'm very grateful for what you guys have given me and you know where we've came nothing is impossible honestly like the, the way we're growing it's you know we've tripled our views in the last week i just want to say thank you views don't mean the world to me 
it's the fact that three times more people get to see the value that we're providing here on this channel about tech, about, you know, technology, because whether you like it or not, your subconscious, you're learning a lot about technology. Even if you're not interested in the tutorial you're watching, you're learning things about technology that you didn't know. And it's just helping you, honestly, even if you don't notice it. So I'm very grateful for providing the, the value for the greater value that's actually needed because technology ai is the future and you know I'm, I'm glad to be a part of that and yeah hope you've enjoyed click on this right now and i'm out peace